Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to create a slider bar for your menu. Now we're not going to be putting this into the options menu, but it's just going to be a part of our menu for right now. Um, we'd have to create another probably uh, layer for the GUI or enable and disable different buttons, which might take a little bit longer to do and might be a little more complicated. But right now we're just going to be messing with a slider for adjusting. So a lot of um, games with options, you can adjust the slider to um, adjust volume or whatever. In this one, we are going to be adjusting our camera sensitivity for our RTS camera. So we're going to be able to slow it down or speed it up depending on what the player's preference is. Some players like a really fast moving camera, others might uh, want a slower moving camera. So we're going to go check out our code real quick. Um, v slider value. So this is going to be um, what our slider is default set at currently, which I set it to 10. And we're going to go in here. Um, v slider value equals GUI dot horizontal slider. And we're going to be creating a new rectangle for it. And this is where I place it on the screen. You can place it wherever you want and then length and height or width and height and then we plug in our V slider value which can be adjusted and this will be I believe our max and minimum values we can have for our V slider value so that's pretty much the basic code for that so I threw it in here where um, we have our options so it'll just show up below our options um, but yeah, and so for our V slider value, if we want to apply this, so we have it set as a float, we can go back into player stats, and let me think real quick, oh no, not in player stats, I got mixed up. Okay, so we went into our RTS camera instead. So um, we took cam speed, which cam speed was our uh, initial speed of at which our camera moves and I equaled it to menu.vslider value. Threw it an update so it'll constantly be updating so it can change. So yeah, that's that'll change its value as we adjust the slider. So that's pretty much all the code you need for that. Um, it's pretty basic. Also, um, yeah, I made, let's go back to menu real quick. I made it a static variable so we could transfer it. So I went in here and did menu dot v slider value. So it'll pretty much yeah apply this value to our cam speed to adjust it. And once you have that all set up, um, there shouldn't be anything else. I don't believe that you need to adjust. We can go in here, and you can see that our camera moves relatively fast. Now n is my key. So I can go in here and I can click and adjust the slider and we can see it changing a little bit. I can adjust it and now it'll move really, really slowly depending on what the value is set at. So you can adjust it to your liking, however fast you want it to, to move. And it'll stay saved. So if you wanted to um, like add that into what we did before, for when we were making the saving and loading, you could save that um, variable so that, um, so yeah, when you load up the game, all your options will be saved through there. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know for this tutorial. So yeah, um, we could probably go over more advanced options in the future. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas for other maybe GUI options I, I could cover, um, please leave them in the comments below. I'm probably also going to make another option for key binding because I have my, uh, my macro bar down there and I want to adjust each macro to be a specific key bind to what the player wants. So if I wanted to adjust what key um, my player is pressing for a certain macro, I can adjust that in my menu somewhere, probably in options, or I'll make a new one for uh, 
key bindings and stuff. So, yep, that's pretty much the uh, basics of that.